Hey everyone, this is Kevin Shriver from Downtown Pittsburgh Dogs. Hope you all are doing very well. Thanks as always for watching. I run into a lot of clients who have challenges with getting their dog, whether it be a puppy or even older dogs, with walking stairs. And this is a very simple thing that I want to talk about today. On, I want you to get your dog to walk on stairs. It's important that they learn. A lot of times people will say, well, my dog doesn't need to learn stairs or I can take the elevator. Well, what happens if there's a fire drill? And some people will say, well, I'll just pick up my dog. Well, what if your dog weighs 50 or 60 pounds? You know, or my husband's going to pick up the dog. That's a really silly excuse because you need to get your dog to walk on stairs in an emergency situation. So you have to teach your dog how to do this. And for those who have puppies that you are getting to walk and work on stairs, you can start this as soon as eight, nine, and 10 weeks. You should not be waiting till your dog is 15 weeks, 20 weeks. You know, I have met some people who have dogs that are six months old and they've never walked stairs and they pick the dog up and carry it down the steps because they've never decided to try. I want to get you past this. You need to have your dog learn how to walk steps. So I'm going to go through my method on how to get your dog to walk steps within 15 minutes. If you had me come in, this is exactly what I would do with your dog. I want to give you these tips because there are a lot of people that are missing this and it's important that you get this down. All right, everybody, so here is the visual representation for stairs, right? It doesn't matter how many stairs are in between here. It's the concept that I want you to get. So you may only have stairs that you walk that are five flights or five steps, excuse me, five steps. You may have ones in your house that are 10 steps long. Either way, you have to get the dog to walk up and down them. Here's how to do it. What most people do, or at least they attempt to do when they're working with the dog, is they drag their dog. They go up to the top, and they drag their dog by the leash and start pulling them, and the dog's holding back, and the leash is getting pulled, and they're like, oh my gosh, and the dog's getting scared. Humans are getting scared. They're saying, just do it, just do it, and they're trying to pull them all the way down. Or they get to the bottom, and uh, they pull the same way this way, and they're like, ready, come on, let's go. They kind of pull their dog up the stairs, kind of dragging the dog. The dog is scared. Don't do this. You're just going to scare your dog. What you need to do is start small, but then work on rewarding. Now, as a general principle for training, if you followed any of my videos, I don't recommend picking up your dog for any type of training exercise just because you, you don't want to fall into a trap of if something's going on, I pick up my dog and I take it somewhere. I, I pick it up and I walk away. If you are doing this as a regular part of training or behavior reinforcement, you need to stop doing that. That is terrible for your dog. It is just, it's not natural. And I'll do a, a whole other video on that, but just don't pick up your dog. With this section for training for stairs, you are allowed to pick the dog up, but you're picking it up to encourage it to work on a new activity. So what you need to do is this. You need to have some type of treat or reward system. Physical treats are fine, but also your verbal rewarding the dog for doing the behavior where you say, good boy, good job, good girl, really excitable noise, you know, some kind of, we call that verbal marking is a technical term. I want you to have both of those at your disposal when you do this. So instead of dragging the dog, trying to drag it all the way up or trying to drag it all the way down, here's what you want to do. You want to take, if you have a puppy, you're going to take your puppy, you can walk them on the leash up to the edge of the steps, and you're not going to drag them up, but here's what you're going to do. You are going to pick the puppy up, pick the puppy up, and just go to the first step. And then you're going to stand there, and then you're going to have the puppy go down. Okay? You're going to take the puppy, and you're going to do this ten times. Down, first step, and they're just going to go down one step. That's it. You reward them. Good boy, good dog, and you give them a treat. You do that same repetition maybe 10 times. Then once they get that, you can take the dog up to the, the second step. Then you go down, then you go down again. Whatever the confidence level of the puppy is. You may have to, for the first day, 
just do one step and you do that 10 times, you put it up there, it walks down. Good boy. You pick it up there, you put it down there. Good boy. You pick it up there, you walk down. Good boy. And you'll want to actually walk on the step with the dog and then walk down to the next step with the dog as you do it. So they're used to walking next to you down the stairs. So you'll see your confidence rise really fast. So you're rewarding for just doing the little step. When you're going up, you do the same thing as well. You start here and you go up. You walk down one step to the first step, you set it there, then you, you're walking next to it and you say, let's go, good boy, and let's go, and you bring it up to the top, up to the, 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 you know, the top, you know, no more steps left. You say, good boy, good girl, good dog. You reward it a ton. Repeat this 10 times until they get it. Then you move down and you do it again. One, then two. And finally, obviously, if there are more steps in between, you know, you're going to start here and go one, two, you know, three, right? And then finally, you're going to one, two, three, four, right? And then same thing going down. You're going to have, you know, you walk up three steps and go down and then four steps and go down. Once you get to about three or four steps, your dog is going to get it. They're going to be walking on the stairs in no time. Start small and work your way up. If you, if it takes at the most, if you follow this system here, you can have your dog walking stairs within three days. If you do one day, you know, the first day one, you break it up into you're doing one step up 10 times on day one. And then you, you can, if you need to, you can carry your dog down, especially if they're a puppy, this is possible to the bottom stair. And you do this 10 times, just going down one. Then on day two, you go up to the second stair to the top. And actually, on day one, you're doing this 10 times on step one going up and step one going down. You repeat that, do that like three times a day. So this is a total of five minutes, three times a day you're going to solve this. Then by day two, you can go to second step. Boom, boom. Do that 10 times. Second step from the top. Boom, boom. 10 times, three times a day. By the third day... You won't even have to, if you were doing this, your dog, you're going to, dog's going to be excited and probably running up and down already by day three. So the third day, if you're doing one, two, three going up and then one, two, three going down, you are going to have your dog walking steps, not a problem. And again, remember you're rewarding the dog for the activity. You don't want to use food or touching or talking when it's scared. So when a dog is in a scared state, you are not you are not rewarding. You're not talking to it. You're not saying, oh, be nice, be okay, it's okay. You are rewarding it when it does the activity that you want. So you just pick it up, you set it there, and you say, let's go. And you know, whatever, let's, let's go, follow me. And he goes, one, two, down there, boom, big reward. Good boy, reward it every time that it does the activity that you want. Good boy, you get down, you touch it, you rub it, give it a, give it a tiny treat if it's very food motivated and you are going to have your dog walking stairs within 15 minutes at the most. The fastest you're gonna do it is within 15 minutes if you follow the system. At the most, it's gonna take three days. If you guys have any questions on this process, leave a comment or send me a message and I'd be happy to help you guys with this. But this is my method for getting a puppy or any type of dog to walk and learn stairs. You guys can do this yourself. Hopefully you found it helpful. This is Kevin Shriver from downtown Pittsburgh Dogs. Have a great rest of the day.